Then count us in too! Yeah, and us too! Fine. Just come at me all at once! Hardly anyone showed up today. I was worried that we'd lost all our students. That day, I was surprised to see Huang home for the first time in a long while. Oh, Huang's my father's best student, and kind of like a mix between my mentor and my big brother. He was called a hero, and the country entrusted him with finding Soul Edge, the Sword of Salvation. My father also wanted me to marry him. Really, though, I can't believe you're already old enough to think about marriage. I'm not! Those guys were just joking because Father keeps talking about wanting a son-in-law to take over the Dojang. Oh, really? I've never heard him talk about that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I told him not... Mm. So this is where you've been with Wang. Don't you think it's about time? Yes, Master. I'm sorry I can't stay longer. Mina, I'm sorry I can't tell you more, but I'm returning to the army. We can protect our homeland with our own hands, even without the Sword of Salvation. And that was that. Wong re-entered the military, and now continues to fight for his country. Me, on the other hand, they wouldn't allow me to join the army because I'm a woman. But then what am I supposed to do? I too want to protect our homeland. When you said we, Huang, did that include me too? Mina, that's not up to me. Do you understand what I mean? So I can't protect our land with you because I'm a woman or because I'm not strong enough? Just hurry up and see him off! Silly girl! I was looking all over for you. Did you come to humiliate me too? What are you talking about? I'm weak and clumsy, so I respect how strong and bright you always are, Mina. Then you must be really disappointed in me now. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, 
job. Hey, I know. How about marrying me? Wait, what? Ugh. I'll make Wong and Father admit I'm just as capable as them, no matter what it takes. Now that I think about it, Chul Wan was probably just trying to cheer me up. Next time I see him, I must be nicer. If there ever is a next time. moment, I was just so shaken I couldn't think straight. Ivy, that swordswoman who was also searching for Soul Edge. She was cool, collected, and so mature. She treated me like a child, so I lost my temper and challenged her. No! I'm not done yet! More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Hey! Get back here! Well, that was riveting. Thanks for the entertainment. Ugh. But that should teach you not to pick fights with people like that again. I'm sure you'll get a lot stronger in the future. You're still young, after all. Hey! Don't treat me like a child! Didn't I just tell you to think more carefully about who you pick a fight with? You also said I could get stronger. Can you teach me how to fight? We can use clubs or whatever. I don't care. That was the first time I met Kong Shu Chung, my master. I needed to get stronger if I wanted to find Soul Edge. So, I focused all my energies on forcing him to become my teacher. Wait. 
You made this much progress in just one year. Guess I'll go buy some booze so we can celebrate your victory. More drinking? Your body will give out one of these days. You always nag me about that. What are you, my daughter? My father's far more hardworking and accomplished than you. Aren't your family worried about you? Perhaps a wife or a daughter? After all, I often hear you mumbling in your sleep. You're our treasure, Shanglen. Stuff like that. Huh? You've been hearing things. Now get back to your training. Fine, fine. Off you go. But Master never came back. I've no right to teach you proper rod techniques. You need to carve your own fate. That was all he left me, scrawled in a note. I can't believe he kept me waiting all night. It made me pretty mad. After that, I traveled about, exploring ruins and underground labyrinths, ever in search of Soul Edge. My travels went well, but memories of everyone back home kept resurfacing in my mind. I was sure Father and Huang must have been worried about me. And I was worried whether my homeland had been invaded by lands to the east. When you said we, Huang, did that include me, too? Mina, that's not up to me. Do you understand what I mean? What was Wong trying to tell me back then? T Traveler! Help! My... my family! Are you okay? Such terrible wounds! T take... this... Uh, uh, uh. carried the man to the nearest oasis village, but he didn't make it. What he had handed me was an illustrated map and a metal plate with a snake crest carved upon it. As soon as I showed them to the villagers, 
I could see the color drain from their faces. Oh, Fiegel Sestimus. I knew it had to be those demons. I suppose there's nothing we can do then. But a bunch of people were kidnapped! Don't you want to save your families? Of course, but we can't fight them. You should leave here at once, while you still can. We don't want to get outsiders involved, especially a young girl like you. What? You'd think I'd be useless? That's not it. It's merely what you intend to do is not what we would desire. I... I don't care. I'm tired of feeling as if I need someone's approval to rescue those dear to me. I'm going to save all of you. In my homeland, too. He's gone. Where is that girl heading? Ah, who are you? followed the map to a vast underground temple. I managed to sneak in, but the unsettling atmosphere and weird smell quickly got to me. There were a lot of creepy instruments strewn around the place, but the creepiest thing of all was... What's this huge container for? Ugh, it's all gloopy. It reminds me of that monster. These are the villagers! They're still alive! What a relief! Are those lizards in there? <laughs> there you are! showed no hesitation when faced with our chimeras. You're not from the village, are you? You threatened the villagers, didn't you? <laughs> what a rude accusation. They simply know the truth, that's all. They know these chimeras were once their family members. What? No! You mean I... We need the finest ingredients to make the finest chimeras. That settlement is our lab, and the bait we use to catch traveling warriors. That's why they didn't want me to get involved. What? Weren't you prepared to fight? So be it. I have many uses for a fine female warrior like you. 
Yes. I didn't understand what it really meant to fight. All I could think about was protecting my homeland and proving myself. At long last, I realized what a child I'd been. But it was too late. What are you doing? Writing your will? Sorry, but you're not going to die just yet. The High Priest has taken an interest in you. You'll be heading off to our headquarters, along with this fellow. This is the girl I spoke of earlier, sir. I thought you were going to save your homeland. Huh? That voice? I shall vanquish the evils of the ages! What, what are you doing?! The villagers told me how to get here. Those maggots! Neither of you will leave here alive! You sure about that? Yeah! We're gonna fight too! We need to save her! The words of those who truly love their country possess a power that spurs others to action. Those who can move people's souls are what you call heroes. I don't care what sort of damage it causes. Unleash our latest experimental chimera! Mina, can you fight? You should finish this with your own hands. Okay. I will never lose! Did I... win?